Hey guys, Wanted the Tiger here, and I'm bringing you a game of Domination on WMD. And I'm sort of free ball on this one today because my computer is acting really weird and I can't watch the video while I um, talk, so I'm just gonna have to go based on time. And there's something that I really want to talk about today, and that is the facts or the idea, I should say, that should or are we as a community are we looking for and I'm talking about a, as a first person shooter community so an FPS community are we looking for a new king of the hill is Call of Duty at the end of its life and I would venture to say that a handful of people that I know would say yes yeah Call of Duty as a whole is at the end of its life um, you know it was a groundbreaking series when it came out challenged Medal of Honor um, you know, it pretty much owned the World War II first-person shooter market, and when um, it branched out <clears throat> with Modern Warfare into the modern realm, I think we were all looking for that. We were all looking for a more of a modern shooter because we were kind of tired of World War II shooters. By that time, the market was saturated with World War II shooters, and I think with Modern Warfare 2 ending, you know, and Black Ops coming last November, this past November, um, I think we're at that point where we're just done with Call of Duty games. Um, I, I think that with the games that are coming out soon, such as Killzone 3, Crisis 2, um, if I'm forgetting one right now, I'm sorry if you're looking forward to another game. Um, I think it's probably about that time that a new king ascends the throne, you know, and I'm really looking forward to Killzone 3. I played Killzone 2, the demo, and I didn't like it. And I did what I think everyone does, is they use Call of Duty as their their benchmark. It's, it is the gold standard, and I, what I'll, okay, what I'll say is... Um, I'll use Infinity Ward's Call of Duties as the benchmark because I honestly think that they make the best. This is pre-breakup of Infinity Ward, but Infinity Ward's games, say COD 2, uh, COD 4, and Modern Warfare 2 are, are the best first-person shooter games that I've ever played. And yes, there are the problems with Modern Warfare 2, and those are community problems more so than, uh, than the actual problem with the game. But um, I would say that those games are, are the best looking, the best playing games uh, that I've seen ever, you know. And I've seen now the Crisis demo. I've seen some gameplay of, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Killzone 3. And those actually sort of, they really challenge the beauty of the Infinity War games. And I don't think Treyarch really makes games that look all that great. They're not very sharp. Their colors are really flat and neutral, and you know, I think Woody puts it best. They're all there's these grays and pastels, and they're just not very vibrant maps. They're not really that great to look at, to be honest. And I know this with Black Ops, they tried to add a few things like rockets taking off and all this great stuff, but I don't think it really helped. Um, and the idea that that truck was going to go back in time again. Um, it just, it didn't work out, I don't think, with World at War. I kind of liked the game from a split-screen standpoint, playing it with my younger brother. But, <coughs> excuse me, I really didn't play it as like a, an online game, so I really can't comment on it, on how good it is online. But uh, I just never really liked Treyarch's games that they ever put out under the Call of Duty name. It just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't sit with me. And then Black Ops was the game that I really wasn't going to buy in the first place, but I just bought it because... Ryan was going to buy it, and I was like, well, I don't want to be left in the dust, so, um, I like the game, you know, I do like the game, I just, I just don't like, like the game, you know, it's one of those games that I, uh, now, after playing it since release night, uh, it's a game that I can put down, and I'm not really all interested in picking back up right now, you know, Ryan was telling me that there's this double XP weekend coming up, and I'm just not... I'm feeling it, you know. I'm actually not really feeling video games right now. I, I'm like, I think it's just this oversaturation of my life with video games that is not a problem, 
but uh, I mean, I was playing Mass Effect, and I was really, I was kind of anticipating on getting hooked on that game. Like I did say, Red Dead Redemption, or Uncharted, or Gran Turismo, and I'm just not feeling it. I, you know, I'm at the point in Gran Turismo where I don't feel like racing endurance races, and I've got one race that I need to finish, but it's going to require a long time. Since you can't save, in, you know, in between um, circuits or in between courses, and so I don't really want to work on that. Uh, Mass Effect is a really long game, and it's just sort of—I really wish it had a little bit more direction to it instead of such a free roam sort of a feel to it. Because it's just—I don't know—I'll talk about that in the next Mass Effect video. Um, and then there's Call of Duty. It's just sort of you get online, you play with some friends. I think I could probably lend myself to a couple of hours a night, and I'll be—I'll be golden. That's pretty much how I'm gonna have to do it. But to get back on topic, I, I'm really looking forward to games like Crisis and Kill Zone. I want to see Infinity War or Treyarch and uh, Activision upseated as the king of first-person shooters. I think it's about time that happens, and I think it's about time that we see something that we haven't seen yet as far as um, anything you know we've all played domination we've all played captured flag we've all played headquarters and TDM and free-for-all and you know I don't bother playing hardcore because I don't feel like dealing with really bad camping um, I think it's about time we see just new stuff and I, I think is as much as Crisis 2 reminds me of Halo, and I'm not a Halo person, you know, I've never really found that all that interesting. I think it's about time we see something new. I think that's particularly what interests me about Section 8, it was just something new. I actually found myself wanting to play Section 8, and I just realized that I'd spent 60 bucks on Mass Effect 2, and I'm like, great, um, I'm not really wanting to spend another 15 bucks on another game, maybe not right now. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think it's about time we see another, you know, king? You know, we see another champion at the top of this hill, another first-person shooter, another studio make a badass game. And then speaking about badass games, there's a whole shitload of games I can't wait to come out right now. And I'm pretty, coming pretty close to running out of time here, but just to run them down, it's like MLB 11, there's LA Noir, there is Killzone 3, there is Crisis 2, um, there's probably another one. That, oh, Uncharted 3 is coming out. I mean, I got five games coming up that I really want to play. And I think, for me, first-person shooters, or I should say Black Ops, is going to be taking a back seat. And here I am, you know, running the MLP stars, and I'm barely ha getting up the energy to, to get on there, you know. I can't even get myself to get on there to record video for my channel. I guess that's how bad it's gotten. So, anyways, guys, I'll probably run over in time. If not, I'll just let the video play out. But uh, uh, let me know what you guys think about Black Ops. Do you think even with the map pack, is it going to have a resurgence of, resurgence of life? Or is it done? And is Activision done? And has Call of Duty reached the end of its life? And are we going to see the emergence of new studios and new game types and new first-person shooters taking over, you know, this Call of Duty-dominated genre? Okay? So, you guys, uh, hopefully we get a good discussion in the comment section. And uh, talk to you guys in the next video, all right? Later.